All right, welcome to it, the What More Can I Say podcast, right in what episode we on, 174, 174, I'm your host, Stone Capone, and I'm joined by two people that have uh, mental issues, you guys all <laughs> know them, uh, but... she's the first lady of the pod, the only lady of the pod, she's fluffy and fine, and she has a Gracie, get it right, it's woop, Kiki. Woop. Hey, friends, woop, 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 what's woop. up, guys? I need a new sound, I think the woop woop. I like the woo woo. I think it's dying. No, no, the woo, we got to keep the woo woo alive. Okay. Yeah. He's dying. I, think I like dying. the woo woo. I do. I do. You I like do. the woo woo too? I do. You yeah. still woo woo? I don't even. I don't, don't even, even get, get one. Him. But it's. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I don't even get one for crying. Say your name so fast. You like it's me talking about Paul. I can't yeah. even woo woo. I, I gotta. Okay, I gotta give a pause. Yeah, yeah. A pause. you gotta, you gotta give. You know how you give us a little like intro, you like, like Kiki. and you say like she's fluffy, fine, got a gracie. You gotta list your stuff, like you know what I'm saying. You're a world renowned <laughs> actor. You know yes. what I'm saying. You are Mr. Hennessy. Come you on. know what I'm saying. Come never on. stop, never settle. Come on, now. Come you on. know what I'm saying. You you may have seen him on the Parkers. right? Like, it's you have seen me on you the Parkers. Yeah. My bad. Come on, don't play with him. Come play with me, it's man. It's Togo Woo, woo. woo, woo. Yeah, there it is. There you gotta list off your accolades. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give my accolades off. I gotta give my accolades. That's all you gotta do. They're, they're very long, so I just try, you know, it's gonna take I a while. Now, we minute. didn't say do all that. <laughs> now, I mean, we didn't say do all that. Yeah, man. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Boy, you got something, though. Know, anyway, uh, he is the funny man of the pie, soon to be going on tour at every Chitlin Circuit City around Come the United on, States. Yeah. Zach Boo. Yeah. Woo, woo. Yeah, oh. Zach Boog tells me this story all the time. He's like, I'm giving me a sprinter, and every weekend I'm going to be gone pretty you soon. You went on tour. No, eventually. That's the goal. Oh. Yeah, not yet. Oh, But okay. I do. I want a sprinter, and I want to travel the country on my in my sprinter doing shows on the weekend. You going to drive yourself in the sprinter? Hell no. Nah. Are you going to have a driver? Yeah, I'm going to have yeah, a that's driver. that's the purpose of getting a sprinter. That's why you get the sprinter. I'm gonna well, have who a... else going to be in there? What you need a sprinter for? Because to lay out and go to sleep, because I got to do radio in the morning. Zay, you could lay out in the Kia, baby. You don't need oh, a sprinter. I'm just saying. You, you want to talk about mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You don't need That's a sprinter, crazy. friend, to go to sleep. I don't understand. Out. If you fit. <laughs> she said I can lay if, out in a Kia. If you can spread out in an entire Kia, that would be Say, That's no, I, look, no. I'm my brother ain't that tiny, brother. No, for your aspirations. I believe in you. But I, if you so want to start <laughs> off, you know, I want us to have a, 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 ski, a sprinter. You do? Yeah, like all of us to have a sprinter. We pull up to the events, I and then eventually we get rich, and we all have them. <laughs> I don't know if I want to ride with y'all. Why not? Y'all too. It's you know. gonna be fun. Uh, I don't know. You know we're going to leave. It's going to be a party, baby. It's going to be something <laughs> in that car. Part. We got to get you in a Sprinter, Kiki. I don't know. We throw that gin in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will be there. I'll be like, ain't no Sprinter. I got a little gin. As long as you got activity. some gin and, and an air conditioner. That's it. Sprinter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We ain't going to have no hot-ass Sprinter. Okay. We both get hot. I get hot. I But I did. I, I found the Manly fan. Where? I have found the Manly fan. My boy had it. He had it. It's called. It's called. So I, I got. Well, we're taping on the, what oh. I would have it in the, on oh, my your phone. phone. Okay. But it's called something jet something. It's like a little. It looks like a. I don't know. It's just, it's manly though. What I makes it more manly than that, the one Kiki exactly. got? Exactly. Because when Kiki did it, it just. It's because I got it. It's because no. I got it. That's the only thing that he don't like is that I have it. It's some regular fan, bro. Do you have it on you? No, oh, you bro. Know, I keep it on me. <laughs> Kiki, the first person I seen with the fan. Yes, I started this trend. She did. You should sell fans. And I tried, but you know, I want a high quality product, and they kept trying to give me something off the flea market. Now I didn't got one of my hair pins stuck in the fan. But anyway, this the fan. Yeah. And this is. Is that the original for BT? Yes. Man, Miss Pat took her fan. Every woman Every. that sat down at BT Awards took that That's fan. Good. They was like, they was like, wait a minute, girl, what's this? Yes. And what's now that? everybody Kiki got started it. it. Yeah. You started it. Yeah. I'm going to give you that. The fan. Yeah, I started that. I got to give you that. Mm-hmm. So what is, like, I want to see your fan, though. Because, look, Kiki, can I see your fan? Yeah. Please? No, it, I, my fan okay. looks so like, a, like fan, a manly contraption. Kiki's fan it is like, black. Mm-hmm. It looks like a manly contraption. He told too. me he wanted a fan with some footballs on it. It's what he told me. He was <laughs> yeah. like, I need Thieves. some. That's I can't have that. I said, you're right. I'm like, Tone. So, like, what does yours have? Like a gun, a gun? Right, like, a yeah. Or it's a man. I'm hot for a man. I'm a man. I'm hot like a man. Hot is hot. Hot is hot. <laughs> Too many women have it, bro. Now, okay, tell the truth. All right, tell the truth about this. So, yo, everybody knows when 
what is it, martinis and all of that stuff, that glassware got really popular, mm -hmm. and women were drinking martinis constantly, Sex in the City, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And dudes like martinis, too. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, uh, what was it, James Bond drank a, a, a martini. martini. He drank yeah. a martini. But the martini glass, because so many women were using martini glass, you had a lot of dudes like, hey, put mine in a, in a, in a cup. Really? Yeah, or even like a sidecar, put mine in a cup. Give me a man glass. Y'all got to get out of that. Yeah, you do. Too many women have that. stuff, you don't want to do it. What? I'm not gonna get into the gender role thing and no, all that, but like y'all gotta, y'all gotta be relaxed. I'll drink I'm getting this class. manly fan, and you gonna like it. Well, you get your manly fan. Is yours show. bigger or something? No, it's no. actually compact. It's like, it like it's it's not oh, a it's fat. A it, it got like it come out like a. It gun. ain't a manly fan. It's, it's like a it's like a, it's like air conditioner in your gun. pocket. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> you trying to make fun of me? Yeah, yeah. you a man fan. fan. <laughs> It's a real man fan. Same fan. It's the same fan. Yes. <laughs> I mind it's going to be better. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. Did you uh, keep it in your man purse? Uh, oh, now he didn't try it. <laughs> he didn't try it because that's just, funny as hell. They don't mind wearing our purses, they, but they don't want to use our fans. That's the truth. He was talking about man purses the whole time, and I came out of church, and guess who had on a man purse? You got one, too? Kiki, it's a diaper bag no, for my son. A diaper bag. Swear to God. It's, I it's keep, a Louis I, Vuitton man purse, G. You didn't get you a, a Yes. Purse? I wear it for my son. I keep my son's stuff in <laughs> he it. He went and bought a Louis Vuitton one. You window. got a never fool a Louis Vuitton bag? I know. I definitely don't have a never fool. <laughs> get the hell out of here. I can't, I can't stand Kiki. Oh, it's my a, God. It's a thing. But I keep Noah's stuff in it. His iPad, his snacks, and like when I'm going places and I got him. And you had to nothing. make it Louis Vuitton? We that can't have like nothing, cool dad. We can't have nothing. Y'all want to take everything. What am us. I supposed to have? What should I carry my son's stuff in? I don't know, but you I tell just, me, you, you a made plastic fun of mine. bag? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just playing. I'm not mad But at you, you got all types of stuff in yours. I got stuff for my son. You got your lip gloss in there. Not lip gloss. Your fan. <laughs> I don't have you lip gloss, you bastard. yellow discharge from Sexy Red. <laughs> <laughs> not, not his lip gloss. That's hilarious. I have my passport in But passport. we really should. We should go and, like, just everybody take out what's in their purse. Since we all got purses now. Everybody <laughs> should just take out. We should just do, like, what's in your bag? You know, like, everybody, all of us, all three of us, just, just see what's so I should just wear a full book bag just for a few things for no, my son. You could wear whatever you want. I'm not mad at you having one. I just didn't know. Yeah, he I didn't made know one you of joined me. the club. I didn't know. I talk so bad about tone, and you I did. I can't bring it out in public. Oh wow! <laughs> so he called it a diaper bag, and I, and I called it. it. Really and he said, it. "I said, oh, nice bag." He gonna say, "I keep Noah's." He, he had yeah. it loaded up yeah. already. I keep Noah's stuff in there. Noah been potty trained for two years. He come out to us a diaper bag. Right. It oh, is a diaper Noah, bag. Mm -hmm. No, no, pee pee and buy stuff. So, right. Talk about a diaper bag. Snacks, water, <laughs> his his uh, tablet. All that stuff, you need that stuff quick. Cause That's of... right. Okay. All right, man. Let's get to this. Speaking of kids, uh, T.I. is a grandpa again. Y'all keep turning the trap king into a grandpa. King uh, is about to have his first child at 20 years old. What do you got to say about that, Zach Book? Well. Being that's your fellow comedian brother. I love T.I. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And T.I. said, he also said that he was going to make him the the biggest thug in the world. He said he's going to basically to that point. So he's going to make his grandson the biggest thug in the world so King can have to go through what he put T.I. through. I thought that was funny. But it's just crazy to me, the fact that King's getting ready to have a child. It's just, I, I mean, think about how, I feel how old, I feel like I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. Well, my one of my favorite rappers, T.I., is a granddaddy. And that's just weird to me. Like, Granddaddy Tip, he just put out a song. But he did put out a song with Kirk Franklin, which makes sense, because when you get older, you start to go see God. So, oh, wow. It makes sense. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But, no, nah, shout out to them. Shout out to them. Do y'all know who the baby mama is? No. No, I don't know the baby mama. They put a picture up of some young girl saying she is a, is his baby mother, but we don't know that to be, you know, it's not a fact, proven fact. Okay. Well, well, I mean, King what you got a baby. It? What do you think about it, Kiki? King. I just want. I just pray that they have a beautiful, healthy baby, and that uh, Tiny be strong. These are going to be some of the strongest years she needs to have in her life, dealing with a son and his baby mother. And you know, y'all know, cause y'all got baby mamas. So you gotta the selection process is not always thorough, mm -hmm. and so she' about to experience a deeper level when you when it's your son 
picking the baby mama. Like mm. it's different when it's your, when your daughter get pregnant, she got a you know baby daddy. It's just like okay, you my daughter, I'm gonna take care help take care of the baby. But when it's the you got a co-parent with a baby mama and you on the daddy side, mm. it's rough, bro. I got all brothers. It's rough. Who you telling? It's rough. I was like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Who you telling? It's rough. So tiny, stay strong, sis. Stay strong. I want to w- welcome King to the fine world of child support, brother. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome. Welcome, brother. What are, what are you doing at 20 years old? I know T.I. is like, I'm happy, but dude. But then you look at the way King was moving the whole thing, the whole time. This is part of King's journey. He going to learn about child support, and he going to learn about the the adventures of going raw and the consequences of it. Not the <laughs> yes, adventures of no, going no, raw. No, no, for real. Yeah. It's about 20, to be real. He probably like, ah, you know, like, I love her. And it, like, bro, like, he, you got to realize, and you don't realize at 20, I couldn't even imagine. I didn't have my, I didn't have my first kid until I was 28. Mm-hmm. So I can't even imagine at 20 years old, th- you don't really realize that you are connected to that person for the rest of your time on this planet. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. Like, that's that's a lot of times when people try to say this stuff about, oh, all these questions about your baby mama and blah, blah, blah. I want to let you ladies know there's only one way to hurt. There's two ways to hurt a man. Well, actually three, but two. <laughs> two maybe four. Right. Two, <laughs> right. Maybe six. <laughs> maybe eight. Maybe nine. <laughs> but no, but I, I will say you mess with a man's money, and his family, mm-hmm. quickest way to crumble him. And you see the, yeah. the, how people get weird. Look at, I mean, no shade. Look at Tyrese. Mess with his money and his family. He didn't turn into a whole nother dude, brother. Yeah. Uh, and, and so you going to learn, brother. You going to learn. It's, uh, gonna... Stay strong, young young man. <laughs> stay strong from your old auntie Kiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just want to tell you. Mm. Stay strong, baby. So, yeah, she's going to take you gonna on a ride. Fine. He's going to be no, fine. No, 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 no. Because he's rich. But it ain't emotional. about money. It's not about money. When a woman, when you have a baby mother, it's a different type of, like Tone just said, it's a different type of pain mm-hmm. because she could play all kind of games with Ooh. your child. Lord, no matter much. how much money you got, Ooh. she could play mm. games with you for 18 years now mm. through your child. How you know this man ain't selected no good woman? An outstanding Because he's 20. He's 20, bro. And none I, of us made good decisions him. at 20. None of us made good decisions <laughs> no, at 20. None no, of us. No. Uh, so... No. Yeah, stay strong, Tiny. Man, you good, bro. Let me tell you why uh, you good, brother. By the time, you're going to have to go through some stuff, King, but you're going to be fine because by the time you 35, 36 years old, your kid been done gradu- be ready to graduate, okay? I really wish I would have had kids a little early. You know what I'm saying? I'm 35 right now walking around with a four-year-old. Let me would have had him when I was 20. You know how old my kid would be right now? 16, 17, home free, new life. No. Okay. No, Get that no, new life. No, yeah. no, that, that, that emotional. Case. I would I would personally I would have rather have my kids around this age. Yep. I would hundred percent. Yep. Because I got Same. way more patience. There's nothing a baby mama, it's nothing that the boyfriend could say. It's nothing that nobody we, they weird friends could say that would <laughs> make me <laughs> mad. I would be like, all right, I'm going to get mad, punch the air at the crib, and then yep. go on about my business. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, bro, like, nah. Because mm. just think about it, dog. Because you, you new to this. <laughs> new to it. Come on, talk you to You ever me. had somebody play with your kid on a holiday, dog? Oh. On a holiday, imagine. dog. Like, on a holiday. Yeah. Like, I I, told, I tell the story all the I time. When imagine. I realize, because I didn't realize I had feelings for a long time. <laughs> but... My baby mama played with my daughter on me. Well, it was really her ex-husband. They was, he was, he was, whatever. But, and played with me with my daughter on Christmas time. Now, I lived by a mall at that time. And I went to the mall. I'm like, man, forget it. I'm just going to get her a bunch of stuff, bro. I'm going to get her a bunch of stuff. I'm going to send it. Everything going to be cool. You know, it's Christmas, bro. I mean, it's all right. I go to my family. Man, I got in there, man. You know how many damn daddies I seen walking around with their little girl during Christmas time, bro? Buying them stuff. They looking at their daddy. I'm looking at them. Man, I got so emotional, I had to leave. I was like, dang, I got feelings. <laughs> so at the end of the day, when people play with that, yeah. those those holidays, oh, 
They play with the visitation. The preaching? dude call you or the dude come out. Like, man, this a dude sent me a picture, picture of me, picture of my son with a dude, with a with our boyfriend on Instagram. On my, my son on shoulders, on, on them dude's shoulders. And she caught me under the joint. I said, drove me crazy. Yeah, I get you it. Know, I, bro, I done seen, I done heard and done seen Ooh. so much stuff. They play with that emotion. And I just pray, I pray, honestly, I pray for King not to have to go through that. But nine times out of ten, bro, especially if it go bad, it's gonna go bad, dog. Yes. It's gonna and 20, are you really ready to handle that? Are you really ready? You gonna he gonna you already see he can't control his emotions. He can't, he high head. Can't. He light skin and high head. He can't, he can't control it. He always see somebody playing him. Short, light skin, and a high head. He can't he can't control his emotions. She gonna play Shoot. with him because she knows she's gonna win. She gonna have that. Uh, imagine he he's twenty, bro. He been dating who he want. He didn't. He got money. His daddy Ti. His mama Tiny in Atlanta. He living a life. <laughs> now imagine how they, how how <laughs> how he gonna feel if they don't work out and she start playing with him and go and start dating somebody else or somebody around the baby. He ain't gonna know how to take, bro. Yep. I'm telling you, man, mm. condoms are your best friends, you are raw dog warriors. You got to choose your baby mama wisely. <laughs> you got to, baby. You got to. Ah, uh, yeah, y'all to. broke it down. It's, oh, yeah. It's so I, rough. yeah. Y'all broke that down. I'm scared for him now. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, brother. Good luck. So rough. Hey, let's He got uh, a good daddy, though. His daddy going to lead him in the right way. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the one. The great thing about it is I was doing it. You know, I got my I got great relationships with my parents, but I think. T.I. has mm-hmm. been in, in, in King's life the whole the whole rip. The whole rip. They lived yeah. in the same household. So he he going to be probably a little bit better prepared for stuff than this. Because yeah. he'll be able to lean on Tip. Yeah, sure. T.I. got baby mamas. So. Yeah. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so he he'll be able like to lean in on two them. Two or three baby mamas, I think. Three, do? three yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get to this, man. Uh, before we jump to the Kanye West story, let's get to this since we're talking about relationships. Offset. Uh, and Cardi B seen together. Now, with all of these rumors uh, going around about what Offset had going on, we actually talked about it on the pod. Um, does this is this surprising for you to see Kiki? Um, you said what Offset had going on? I'm sorry. Offset had, yeah, we're doing a pod. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki said, "Who Offset? 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 Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Migo. I'm sorry. All right. We ready? Yes. Okay. okay. One more time. <laughs> I gave you an amazing lead in, too. He did. What did he say? <laughs> I hate I hate this place. I'm sorry. It's really, it feel like a Monday and it's like, you know. You put a, you put a, it's a weird sleep. day, y'all. Put an N word on the shade room. I'm they get sorry. different now. No. no. Y'all would have let our little one more can I say up pop? so early. You don't Tom, understand. We tired. You coming in with all this new, energy. fresh, refreshed energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's fault. Okay. Sorry, I zoned out for a second. Kiki fell asleep. No, I didn't. At the wheel. <laughs> she dozed off. Huh, what? Who? Offset? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me go. <laughs> Offset? She turned into a ad lip. <laughs> Zach don't I'm remember sick. what you said either. That's why he's cracking jokes because he don't know what you said either. Because he can't repeat it back to me. So don't let him fool you. We both over here fighting for our life. What did Offset do, Tom? God Please, damn, man. just tell him. What did Offset do? I promise you I'm listening. <laughs> what did Offset do? What did he do now? <laughs> damn it, Offset! Offset got me yeah, upset. Yeah, you done got me in trouble. <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, Offset <laughs> and Cardi B were seen together after all the rumors that were happening with Offset, him supposedly having a pregnancy and yes. another woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what do you think about them being back together or, or even a rumor? Well, I told you what was going to happen. So Cardi B, you know, he cheats. And then every time he get caught cheating, he go live and he t- try to get ahead of the story. And then Cardi B is pregnant. She's always pregnant every time he get caught cheating. I don't know what that's about. So <laughs> then he got her, he gets her pregnant. And then she files for divorce. We've been here before. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is how it go. Mm-hmm. So we got all the boxes checked. She pregnant, he cheating, she filed for divorce. 
Now, what comes next is they're going to welcome a beautiful baby, and then he going he gonna to go talk to the lady, and then he going to go back home. And then we're going to act like it never happened again. They're going to drop some music together, do a little joint video together, and then about six months later, we're going to go down the same road again. So I don't think it's anything shocking to see them back together already. The day she filed for divorce, the very next day she was online defending him in the comments to people. So mm. this, she loves that. That's her husband. She loves him. And it's till death do us part. And I think Cardi B is going to stick it out with Offset and try to really make it work for herself, for her family, and her children. I have no... I, I would free him, but that's me. I ain't, ain't, ain't nobody ever put a ring on me, so I really should shut up. However, <laughs> I, I think that, you know, they're going to end up being together for the long haul. This is just the steps that we have to take. You know, you cheat, you get me pregnant, we talk to the lady, I file for divorce, we get back together. Now we on our way to get back. They on their way to get back together. That's all. That's... Every man need I mean, a Cardi B. I just want to let y'all know. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that I said that it was not over. You did? Yes. When now when we first talked about this Cardi B story, everybody was like, "Oh, she filed for divorce." I told y'all on the pod. I said, "Her filing for divorce is really simple because Cardi B got people, so she can just pick up the phone, be like, hey, file." You know what I'm saying? Right. She gets emotional, which she rightfully should. I'm not even saying that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that y'all don't understand. Hood relationships, until the oldest child is about 10 years old, mm-hmm. that's when she'll be done for real, okay? In hood relationships, hood math is different in relationships. It's loyal. It's like it, hood relationships are built in loyalty and staying together. It's only the only way that, Cardi, that Offset needs to be worried about Cardi B leaving is when she doesn't go live, when she don't do the voice loudly. When she not snapping, yep. mm-hmm. when she get quiet and go do it and Facts. ain't got nothing to say, she done. That's true. As long as she being emotional and loud and, and like, oh, I can't believe you did me like this and writing long captions on social and we know about it. The t- when she over, we ain't even going to know. That's true. You done got left before. You know. <laughs> you got left. You, that's a man that ain't got left. You know all the steps. That's a man that he got left before. Yeah. He know Absolutely. all the steps. You that's ain't right. So, you uh-uh. ain't lying. Yo, when she get loud, that's yo, true. she still care. That's true. Yeah, but when she quiet and she be like, I'm gone. He potting. That's the truth. Yeah, you are potting. That was a good that's one. The yeah. That's the truth. That's the truth. I just, I, for yeah. me, it's just, like, damn. <laughs> I look at that whole, I look at this whole relationship like, like, damn. I ain't gonna lie. I thought, because usually that's smoky. For me, like, if I was, if I was offset friend, I would be like, yo, you didn't got caught. And you got a baby. That's proof of the cheat. If if it, if this all happened, let's just say if it all happened, alleged, all this alleged stuff happened, mm-hmm. I'd be like, bro, like, when she dropped that shorty, keep an eye on her, cause the get back might be real. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know, mm-hmm. but then, but then you see that's but that's why I say it was confused. It's confusing to me. Yeah, it's confusing to me because it's allegedly happened a bunch of times, and you know what I mean. So, like, I, I'll say I'll say, bro, you got a gym, bro. Like, it's no man in history that has survived it. We all know Cardi got the most money. She got she got the bigger Uh-oh. career. And you keep, you survive these type of allegations? Bro, that's, that's loyalty. That's at another level of loyalty. I ain't never seen it before in my life. Yeah, no. And, and usually when a you guy have, have a baby yes, on you. it's hood love. Everybody, uh, you, hood love, yeah, you got to break with, up. With, with, but usually the baby in hood love is a deal breaker. If you have a baby in a hood but love. But we don't know that that's true. So that's true. I, we don't I, know I, it's I true. I'm just saying if it I'm is. I'm not putting, nah. other, other than Kiki sitting at me looking at me <laughs> out the side of my eye, the way she just looked at me. I don't know that to be true, so I'm not putting the side baby on offset. It's a baby in there. I'm not. The baby is in that lady's stomach. Huh? Whose baby is it then? It's, it's According the to this, the dude who passed away is his baby. Okay, it's the dead man baby. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Until that baby can rap and sing. We can't. We can't. <laughs> right. Until the DNA test come out and it's proven that comes out, I'm going with the latter. Okay? Uh-huh, okay. I'm not believing this. All I'm saying is, hood love, forget their, their status when it comes to their careers. Uh-huh. Cardi B is a hood chick. We all love her because of her authenticity and how vulnerable she really is with her fans and her people. Okay? Offset, same type of guy. You know what I'm saying? They both offset. Before offset even came out, we knew offset name when he was locked up. You know what I'm saying? Comes from a different, they come from a different situation. Mm -hmm. They are going to be fine until one 
Cardi B stopped snapping. When she stopped snapping, he he, got, he in trouble. But what I'm trying to say is she probably want to see if that's his baby or not before she'll make a decision. Like, when that baby is born and then she, you know what I'm saying, she'll go right. from there. Right. But I think they're going to be good. This is hood. Look, hood couples break up all the time, Every y'all. Day. They get back together, break up. I hate you. You see it all on social media yes. all the time. It's so they entertaining. They be like, just want to let you know, I'm single. They put that out there. Yes. You've seen everybody does it. And yes, then they, yes. Then two, three weeks later, you see her back with her man. Yeah. That's just how it works. Mm-hmm. Kiki like, mm-hmm. No, he, he yeah. But then, I mean, he pardoned. Point. Would you take, would you do that? Do like, it. let's just say, you in, in this situation, how would you handle it? <laughs> no, she going what I'm going to do? I know. What I'm going to do, Zach? Uh-huh. What I'm doing? Uh, she going to leave. <laughs> I know you would have been left after the first cheat. Thank you. Kiki ain't staying for no cheat. I'm not staying for no cheat. She ain't not even, not even like your life partner. This is like the she person you got time. along with the best in your life. My ego can't take it at this point. Your life, did, your, I'm talking about somebody you, because you know you've been out here enough to see. You ain't yeah. dated a lot, but yeah. you're enough to see that it ain't a lot of good people to match. You and be like, yo, somebody that really understands you, rock with you, yeah. just your your person, <laughs> but they mess up. You, you gonna say, just dip? You can say all that. She gonna be like, she gone. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm the type that will die lonely because I'm that like my I'm that prideful. So like, <laughs> I would die at home alone. It'd be just fine. Like, you know what? Me and my little roles, we just gonna have to rock out <laughs> for the rest of our life. Because I'm not putting up with no bull. So I would leave. But if I had to stay in there, because it's different when you have children. I feel like you have children involved. You've created a family. You want your family to work. I would probably just cheat back and get, <laughs> and get my lick back. And then... Um, Women cannot cheat back. Yes, we can. I would, Y'all I would will, cheat back. Somebody going to break out back and you're going to keep wanting it. Yes. And that's fine because you're going to keep doing what you're doing too. No, but a lot of so, dudes don't, see that's the see don't stop. Cheating. Stop, back. stop, stop. Let Uh-oh. me tell you something. Uh-oh. Dudes and women are different in that aspect. Not okay. saying that all oh, I'm not so before anybody be like, oh women. Uh, I'm saying that they're for the most <laughs> part. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I hate it. When you say dudes that do it, no, not everybody want to talk about the outlier dude, the outlier yeah. chick. Yeah, yeah. But for most most cases, Zach will agree, dudes, Uh-oh. we have a conquering thing. We have a conquered thing, right? Or even we have a conquered okay. What that to do with when I'm so cheating? My, back. So my, my point is yeah. is to get kill, move on. Okay. Dudes, dudes will go do something and go on about their business. Y'all will do something and then be like, I kind of most of the time you're not just randomly crashing out with somebody. Mm-hmm. It's a dude that's been on the back burner that you like, yes. but he doesn't have all of the qual- necessary qualities to be the guy. Yes. But he got enough to be on the side. Yes. So you now you didn't let him be intimate with you, and now it's a feeling. So you might... That's where it all gets... With dudes and women... Get get a little get a little sketchy on the cheat back stuff because mm. y'all gonna keep going. We might knock a girl down and then realize. Hey, talk about a dude who's a habitual cheater for right. a while. Mm-hmm. You most of the time you hit the Zach's not gonna say anything, but you hit the girl and you like, why I why I even do that? Oh, why? Oh, why? Is that what y'all say after? I swear, it's it's, it's some call. It's you something like, remorse. You it's called like, why did I have something to do remorse. Why did I have you? So I'll just be on a Saturday, being like, why did he I t- have to cheat again? <laughs> <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> I'm trying to be better. I'm nah, to be but better. you're real. I keep cheating. But the real reason he did that. What? That's true. What he's talking about is true, and I will talk to speak. Thank you. Don't leave me out here on this damn island leave, by I'm myself, not leave bro. That live. The reason that happens, what ladies who may be watching is because usually when guys are thinking with their with their penis, mm-hmm. they really don't think straight. Right. So all that post-nut clarity comes back that, to their head. That's what it's called. And it comes back, and then the blood flows, the, the blood that just flew to your penis flows back into your brain, and you like, oh, that was stupid. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have done that. It right. wasn't even worth it. Now you're guilty. Right. Now you got 24 roses. Coming home for no reason. Because now you're trying to overcompensate. Mm. I used to have a friend. He used to, every time he messed up, he, he would try to do 10 things good. Really? <laughs> to erase his cheat. Mm. 
Mm. He was trying to erase his cheat. <laughs> be like, no, you can't erase it. But it's, it's, it's men really do have a problem. And they're like, the thing is, <laughs> we do. Men got a problem. They got a we problem. do. We have a problem. But I, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you, if I'm a if a woman decides to cheat back on me, she gonna stay back. See, no. because See? now that's a little different. See, it's a little different. That's what I'm talking about. You pre, <laughs> you pre thought in your head. Let me go cheat. You got a better chance just cheating. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like me finding out, and it just be. Something that happened, or oh, your ex, or something, you know, your baby daddy, maybe you went over his house, gave him something. I don't know. You have a better chance than to sit back, premeditate, and try to get me back. Oh, you try. I take that as a threat. Try, you, but what did we do to no, get here, Seth? No, what did no, you do to no, get here? You act threat. like she just woke up and said, no, "I'm going like you no, did." You're I'm trying going to, to cheat hurt, today. At this point, you're trying to hurt me. <laughs> Why and wouldn't I that try to is hurt you? Wrong. <laughs> we have all been weak. In moments. But what about but the But for woman? you to go out and just try to purposely hurt me, uh-huh. I didn't go out cheating like, you know what, it I'm going to get accident. her back and I'm going to I'm gonna hurt her feelings. That's low down. Right. I'm not. It's like murder and premeditated murder. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know you have vehicle. Oh, he is in his so bag let, today. let's say you got vehicular manslaughter. You know oh, what I'm wow, saying? Oh, wow, vehicular. Where you were, you, you were drunk driving. You probably shouldn't have been drunk driving. That's completely wrong, mm-hmm. right? You broke the law there drunk driving and you hit somebody and let's say they passed away. Yes, you can go to jail for that. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that is still considered murder because you shouldn't have been drinking and driving. Right. But you did that's not the same as going out, going and getting a gun and saying <laughs> I'm about to go kill a motherfucker. You know? <laughs> right. It ain't the same thing. Okay? And if you go out here and say I'm going out here to kill somebody, I'm not being with a murderer. Okay. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Well, look, let me say you, you say, accidentally did it, I understand. <laughs> I Accidentally is crazy. That's what? why I would just leave because I'm going to I'm going to murder some of you. It's either I'm going to leave or we both going to die. So which one you prefer? Let's well, you let me co- leave. No, because let me tell you, you, I got you left. You you took your choice when Kiki. When you decided to cheat back, you made your decision. Oh, what I made. You my made decision. your decision. What decision did you make when you was cheating first? That was I was weak and I was not See, right. That's the and problem I shouldn't have done men. that. This is how they think for no, real. No, I shouldn't have done that. But either either you leave, <laughs> you can leave me. And I'm gonna leave. That's the thing. Okay then, you should just left. I'm gonna leave. But don't cheat back and stay. Well, if you beg me wrong. to stay, I'm gonna cheat back. So you pick what's gonna happen. Cause you cheat first. <laughs> so you cheated on me. You now pick. you tell me you what we're gonna do. You, you pick me, is crazy. Right. You tell me what we're gonna do. Either I'm about to go or you gonna beg me to stay? I'm gonna stay, but I'm gonna get my lick back. It might not be next week. It might not be next month. Oh, so now I gotta I'm think about that in the now back of my head. Now you got to think about you it. Should, you should, I, and I and I so, said I did it. I, I did it. I, I I'm a living proof. I broke my rule. I literally broke my rule. Like I got caught up, and I was supposed to. I was supposed to go. Yep. Cause I knew. I cause I know. I knew the woman I was with was prideful. That's I knew right. she had her pride couldn't take it. Like yeah. it couldn't take it. She's like, hey, I'm bad. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I just wanted to see what it felt like. See? And that's <laughs> y'all problem. That's I y'all problem. Y'all throw I the whole was, house I had, I had a lot of no's. I told a lot of no's. Like, no, no. But this one caught me at a weak moment, mm. a weak moment, and, and it happened. And, and it happened. But I get it. And it was like early on in our situation. Early on, our emotional equity with each other wasn't already. It wasn't in a lock Ooh, that way. No, did you hear that word? Did you hear that word? No, yeah. Emotional equity, equity wasn't right. in a lock. I like that. <laughs> you like yeah. that? But it what we wasn't like <laughs> in it. In it. So, but then you was in it. But look, it, it, y'all ain't. Ne- this is another thing that pissed me off when y'all get caught cheating. <laughs> it's never as serious. You know, we was we wasn't really together together. She was living in my house, and we was, you know, splitting bills, but we wasn't really together. No, we wasn't splitting no bills at that time. We wasn't dating for real. Like, no, y'all was together, bro. We Okay, we were together. We were together. You cheated. And then then I (laughs) should have got the hell up out of Dodge. I should have got the hell up out of Dodge and just said it was over. That's crazy how y'all don't want to get cheated on. But what do you mean that's crazy that we don't want to get cheated like on? Y'all cheat on everybody, so why, why just, just No, I, like, gave, I, gave, I let her get her get back. 
She oh. definitely got to get back. But and she I, never but got I, over it. I'm sure. No, 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 no. She, but she kept getting to get back. Oh. That's what. That's what ended. And that's the thing that's that I'm thing. trying she to say is women get don't have that capability in our opinion. Like when y'all get it back, y'all like them. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you like him? But we never wanted to. I hate her. <laughs> I can't yeah, stand that's her. That's true. I, that's true. I hate her. I don't even like her. <laughs> I was only. Ugh. But it's you did over. It. It's but over. You did it. She just thick. <laughs> right. That was it. I don't want to hear her talk anymore. Anymore. Like, I hate her voice. <laughs> that is so funny. Her hair stank a little bit. This I is was how just, dudes do. This is I, how dudes be. I was just trying this, to hit it. This is how y'all be. That's so factual. That's it. But when y'all cheat back, you like this. <laughs> Taking you on dinner, you telling him all the stuff I didn't do. Yep. He rubbing you down. Sex. I hate it. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. This was in and out. Yes. And she and yes. most of the time, and this is the and I want to tell you, this is the part that's that that really <laughs> that gets me every time, right? right? It's because we lie to the other chick. She think we single. The other chick <laughs> thinks we single. Uh -huh. She think they call. Tom Capone, who got all his motion in the city by itself. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. If that's what you want to think, I ain't nobody likes me. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to let you live in that imagination. See what I'm but, talking about, ladies? <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's the part. Like, so she didn't even know. So, like, like, like the women, like, ah, you got a girl. Come on. You know I had. Come on. You think I was by myself for real straight up? You didn't ask. But anyway. You she didn't want to know. You didn't want to know. Tell the truth. She, did, she didn't want to know. Thank you. Women ask all the questions they want to know. They 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 are FBI agents. Yes, they are. You hear me? Right. When that, when something happened, they friends call. They can get on. They'll get on the internet and know everything about a person who Facts. they talk to and the blood type, everything. Right. But, but then the dude you was talking to, I didn't know he had a girl. Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. That's true. Y'all run <laughs> background <laughs> checks on everybody, and if you didn't, that means you didn't want to know. That's true. Because you wanted to, to, to mess with him. So y'all said exactly. it's a sad chick fault because she knew you had a girlfriend. No, 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 no. She no, still no. let you hit. No, no. The, girl, no, the girl doesn't know. We saying is this. The girl does not know. She's so she, an innocent victim. She's innocent. She okay. actually is an innocent victim. Oh, the sad innocent. chick is. But, even the, but, the, she, but the side dude knows completely about Zach and Tom. Oh, that's absolutely. All he knows, absolutely. He knows Everything Absolutely. he know, everything yes. we don't do, everything you mad at us That's about, everything he knows the whole. Yep. He knows when to call you. Yep. He knows when you going to work. He knows every moment you have when you not with me. Mm -hmm. So now we got a dude that knows how to be better than us. That's facts. That so now you now when you find out you know what he doing. That's evil. We men we live in men live in and a we, life of competitiveness. And that don't y'all realize y'all are slighting yourself when y'all cheat back don't start this <laughs> please let me don't start you, please let me tell you something you're setting a man up boy y'all set a man up to just be the person who doesn't have to commit to you that gets to hit and y'all like that and what are you doing that's crazy what are you doing what are you when talking you, about when you we out here smashing hitting. random girls it okay you just running around town sleeping with everybody what are you setting yourself up for what do you mean to you get about a man if he's if he's cheating yes y yes you're cheating. You're, okay, you looking at a man conquer. You looking at a man go through all his his uh. You letting another man conquer. So why you know, we what I'm trying let, to why say is, right? Well, I want to be conquered. No, I want to wanna be conquered. If you cheat on me, I want to be conquered. No, that man so, has to work. Tim, I'm I sorry, you gotta to hear be, that. No, don't bring him into it. <laughs> I'm talking about the cheaters in the room. If y'all <laughs> out here doing all the conquer conquering, what's wrong with me wanting to be conquered? Because you, not, because it's, it's a it's a because to that man, because that man you just know. gave him that alley oop of ease. Oh, absolutely. That man who's cheating, yes. he got to convince them women to cheat with him. So he has to be in a. Does he? He has to be that much of an outstanding man that other women <laughs> would like to share their vagina with an him. An outstanding man. Okay? Women, hmm. y'all don't have to convince nobody to give y'all penis mm -hmm. because penis is not that valuable. Mm -hmm. But what you do is you set up a man to get. You let a man degrade you and say <laughs> I'm not even gonna be your I degrade yeah yeah I don't even have to Come be your man words. I'm yes. just your brother I'm just your dude on the side yeah every man would love that role okay so you giving that role away they giving just because you mad away. at me right the competitiveness, you your power okay. the competitiveness. Your power he is he 
He know you got you sleeping naked. He getting ready to tear you apart. Yes. Things that he ain't never probably done on a regular. He doing everything. Putting yes. his face everywhere. Putting your face everywhere. Come on. All, every place. And then sending you back all destroyed and disgruntled and to me. Has. To your cheating ass. To yes. me. I don't. I, no. Yes. That woman didn't do half the things that you we do on a regular. We just had quick sex. This dude, this dude went eight crazy on you. The I, fact of thinking you're a go, dude. That's what bothers stuff. I can't, I don't know. The fact that like, the dude stuff. shoving stuff in your <laughs> mouth and everywhere else and got your ankles off. I, I can't I, take it. I know y'all can't. I can't take and it. That's I'm why saying. I'm just letting y'all talk because y'all literally showing us that y'all cannot handle oh, what can. you put out. So stop it. No, it's so quick. Be, no, I, no, you, you don't know, understand can, the you difference. You know we can stop this whole cycle if y'all just stop cheating. It's true. We can stop. Y'all That's have true. the power. It's so let me, let me tell y'all, take back y'all power as okay. men. Come on. Take back y'all power as the kings God have created y'all to be. Come yeah. On. Okay, y'all shape this society in this world. That's Come right. It's an end cheating. Just stop. That's it. Because you when do. you cheat, you put me in a very compromised <laughs> position to make me want to get, what you say, conquered. And I don't want to be out here wanting to get conquered. You know what I'm saying? So take your power back, black men, okay? And y'all stop the cheating, and then we can stop being what we got to be because we don't want to do that. The I want to be faithful to you. I want to cook for you. I want to be there for you. I want to clean. I want to do all that. But I can't do that if you out here cheating. Because if you cheat now, I got to get, now That's I got to meet That's you where fair. you That's at. That's so fair. That's, That's fair. it. That's, That's fair. fair. You have an, so uh, stop it. That is, no. Y'all stop and then we'll stop. No, I definitely stop. Okay. I definitely I'm stop. Done. I don't know. I, after you, I'm no, after you get, I did, <laughs> no, I, I yeah, definitely no. have. I, I definitely have. I right, mean, I, I would prefer. Me to, I would we prefer. All, yeah, all I right. would prefer to date. And have, if I'm going, if that's oh, what. Okay. That's really the key thing. Right. If you're going to date, that date. But once you lock in, you got to lock in. You got to lock in. Don't let right. your. That's what I learned. From, I don't know anybody else. When it's time to lock in, you just got to lock in. Date until you don't want to do that no more. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's take that. Your, I mean, take your power back. Yeah, like man. because you can't. We can't handle it. That's just a that really. They just gets right down to it. Uh, uh, before I was about to go to this, but we'll we'll, we'll go to we'll get to our, our quick question here. We got a couple minutes. I'm gone. Uh, do you wait? What were you gonna get to? Financially stability. We talk about it a lot, but it's really it, it, it it's still a lot going on. Financial stability, credit score, Everybody. good with money. Mm -hmm. yeah, and there's people we got good credit, but I mean, you just think about it. You just say. You financially stable when your girl's rocky. Kiki, yes. you financially stable when your guy's a little rocky. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? Or you got to find equally yoked people in that financial... Not, when I'm saying financial st stability, I'm talking about being able to function as an adult yeah. by yourself. Totally independent, don't need anybody else. Yeah. Um, I feel like we all desire that. We all desire to be equally yoked, but it's never. it's not a reality. In this climate, it's just not somebody's going to out earn somebody in a relationship. Somebody you might have peaks and valleys for each partner in a relationship. You got to figure out how much you willing to work with a person in that, how much you love them, how much you like them, how much you want to be with them, what you're willing to give up and sacrifice to be with a person because trying to find somebody who earns just as much as you earn, who matches your level of ambition, who matches your your level of uh, hustle is not realistic. We're, we're all not created the same. We're all, we weren't raised by the same people. We all come from different backgrounds. So you got to find out who you willing to compromise for because trying to date out here and have this expectation of they got to match you or be above you. is just not realistic in, to me in this climate. And so when you're dealing with somebody, you got to figure, okay, so if they not financially stable, what else do they bring to the table? Cause what you're not going to be is a cheating. Okay. Disrespectful. Um, unfinancially secure person. You know what I'm saying? Team? You got to bring something to the table if you I don't know who cheated on I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm triggered that we're way. talking about finances. I'm just talking about cheating. Cheat, you not going to cheat on me and be broke. Okay? <laughs> okay. You got to pick, pick a struggle. So if you get one struggle, what is going to be? Is it going to be finance? You know, it's, you're going to have to compromise with whoever yeah. you end up dating is what I'm saying. And so I think it's it's... It's crazy because a lot of us are raised to believe, and Tom, you talk about this all the time, like you don't want to date a woman who doesn't work and doesn't bring anything financially to the table. Yeah, I just I never seen it before. Right. You I know, never, I didn't grow up like that. My mom and my mama and grandmother and aunts, 
I mean, would go to work all day. My aunt would do hair in the kitchen. Right. Well, in the in the basement. And then you had, you know, it just. I've never seen it. I've never. I just. I don't come from that type of woman. I've never seen a woman that doesn't have multiple hustles. I think that's why I got them. To right. be honest with you, because mm-hmm. I this is what I I saw growing up. But my thing for this, I, I'll pose this question to you, Zach, because this is for all of us in the room and for people like us. That and even where you saw Judge Mathis talk about it. Well, we are are achievement seekers, and the hustle is mm-hmm. always about it's. Hey, I got this. What's next? I got this. What's next? Is that something that may you may think that causes problems in, in relationships that you that you've had because you always grind. It's a comedy show. It's a show. It's a podcast. It's all is, is that yeah, caused a problem? I definitely. I, that's definitely caused problems in my relationship. It's just because I'm always doing the next thing and I don't take breaks. I don't take vacations and stuff like that. And I'm not good at like planning them either. Like, oh, I'm gonna take this time. It just feels weird for me to be like. I'm not going to work through this whole time and I'm going to go somewhere. I'm going to spend money and go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And I think that just comes from I didn't take vacations as a, as a kid growing up. Vacations weren't like we didn't have like family vacations. We had like we're going to a family reunion this weekend and we'll be back. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't never I've never even seen I don't even my mind don't cut off in those ways. Like it's just you keep going. You keep going. You keep going. Now that I'm mindful of it, I'm I'm trying to do better, but that's still a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? But to your point of a woman, I I don't want a woman that hustle like me. Mm-hmm. I do want you to, I do want you to have your own thing going. I do want you to have your own bag, all right. But I also want you to be better at managing the cutoff than I than I can. Mm-hmm. I, I would. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A balance. Balance. Yeah. Like I need you to bring that balance into my life. I need you to tell me, hey. Call off work between this day and this day. All right, you ain't going. We're going such and such. I need somebody to tell right. me that. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody who is going to be able to be that balance. I don't want no every time I, like, I want to talk to you a lot. I want to come home to you. I, don't, I want you to be available. You know what I'm saying? And if you always working, you're not available. And if I'm always working, we ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you do you, want her to work. Now I he, do want her to work. Yeah, he get that. He mixed up. Yeah, he, he, don't he, he, he don't know what he wants. He don't know what he wants. No, you no. want a housewife that work? Mm-mm. That yes, don't make sense. That's no. what it sounds like. No, <laughs> no, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want a working woman who can cut it off. That's a that's, that's a very <laughs> so specific woman. I'm a, that's I'm a, a very I'm a, I'm a, I'm unique an woman. It is, but it's not. Think about it. It's so women cut it off. They go to brunch all the time with the weekend. They go to they go on can trips. You know? Kiki like us. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, but you say I'm talking about I'm talking about Kiki's in the same field as us. This this stuff don't cut off. He yeah. I'm talking about a woman who works but now may not be in a career where we we demand and we we pull so many different ways. Okay, that's fair. I'm, these women who work 9 to 5s go to the club, they go on vacations, they go with their friends, they they see all this all those things still happen and they work. Like a school teacher that's yeah. off in the summers. Yeah, like school <laughs> like teacher off in want, the summers. Yeah. Bankers, yeah. pharmacists. Yeah. They, they, he don't want the VP, though. He don't want no. the VP of the company. He yeah. won't, yeah. you know. Or a CEO that's built it and got people running it for. Yeah. I got to But you even, that, need, but even uh-huh. in that, she can cut it off at certain times. She can be like, all right, from this time to this time. I just need you to be, it's not even about what you do. It's about you being in touch with your cut off side. More than I am, because I don't have the cutoff. Yeah, I think, I think you, women. You, go women ahead. In, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I think women in general are more in touch with their cut outside than men are. I, I just think I do. I do think I think y'all. I think and it, 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 you can look at it. I think women are way more in tune with they like. Hey, I got. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got to stop. I got. I mean, spas are full of women. They always a lot of <laughs> oh like, my god! <laughs> like they, this man is crazy. No, wow. I'm, I'm the not. spas are full of women is insane. But I'm just saying, <laughs> women know how to say, "Hey, I'm about to go get a massage." Hey, I'm about to go get. I'm about to go have have a have a have a me day. A lot of times, dudes don't know that because every day is a you day. Every day, I, I mean, I don't know. I just yeah, think, I, I, every I'm just thinking in the sense of I don't know, know how to. I've never. About, I, I know more. Stuff. I know. I know and, more women that know how to. Say it's cool. Let me go on vacation. Yeah. I know more women that say I'm going to go get a massage. I don't know a lot of dudes. At least the, all my friends grind. 
all of them, real estate, business, architecture, engineer, entertainment, all of my boys, the people that make them stop is they girl. Mm-hmm. It says, hey, we haven't, I got a spa day with my girl, bro. I got to go here. They, and then they become, actually, they women teach them how to become guys to carve out. Like, they become on their own, like, yo, I'm going to the spa. But I don't think men, is we, we not afforded the right to do that. And who's saving us, Kiki? Ain't no such thing as a house husband. I knew you get mad when I say it. Ain't no such, ain't nobody saving no man. Ain't nobody saving no man. <laughs> Ain't nobody saying that's just a fact. Do we got it's any more fact. tape? It really is. No, it flooded. really is a fact. I, you got I have brothers. brothers. I have you this got one brothers. Here. So every time I get ready to go all the way to the feminist side, I do have brothers, and I understand what you're saying. I do understand that men do not get the same type of grace that may be looked upon. But I do think a lot of women have to set boundaries and carve out those type of times because we have to care for so many more people than a lot, t- a lot of times men do. I think it's a- we got to go to work. We got to take care of the kids. We got to take care of the house. And we got to take care of our man. So a lot of women are doing that. Not me, but a lot of women are. So those women are cutting off times to go to the spa and to get their mental health together. And they deserve to do that because they've worked enough to do that. Right? right. Men, on the other hand, same thing. Y'all deserve those same type of rights because you are working to be a provider. You are hustling. You are trying to create whatever for yourself but when you just say it like the spas are full of women yeah i don't i don't i don't mean i don't mean i mean that i mean that in the sense of maybe because again when you say anything about women you go crazy yes, uh, yes. when i say that it's saying as a as a gender right y'all know how to cut it off y'all been taught how to cut it off your mamas have taught you how to cut it off your daddy my daddy ain't never told me to go to no spa Right, right, right. But that ain't nothing. My dad ain't never told me, hey, go get a massage. Right, My uncle's because never a lot told of y'all me. would go to the strip club and, and take a break. Or y'all would be down at the local bar taking a break. Or y'all in the club howling AAA. Or y'all playing a video game. Or <laughs> yeah, y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all going to a that's sporting true, event. That's true, that's true. So, yeah, y'all have y'all time. And y'all take y'all time a lot, okay? Whereas a woman may have to literally carve out on a calendar, I got to find a babysitter. I got to find, you know what I'm saying? I got to take off work. I got to make sure this project's still done for my boss. I got to... Women have the same type of things that we all have to carve out. I think when it comes to relationships, you have to find somebody who is a balance for you, a good balance for you. And Zach made a good point of what a balance is for him. When it comes to financial stability, I can work with you until you start affecting my lifestyle. So (laughs) when I want to go on vacation... And I got to worry about, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be able to go, now that's a problem. If I got, if I want to buy something for the house and I got to think twice about what I got to buy, now that's a problem. So when we talk about financial and being in, in relationships, for me, it's we cool. Whatever your situation is, it's cool because I'm going to earn. I'm going to earn. I'm going to earn. I'm going to figure it out. So you ain't, I don't necessarily want nobody to take care of me. But you cannot negatively affect my lifestyle. <laughs> Once you start negatively, I can't buy wigs. I can't buy. I'm thinking twice about no, wigs because you ain't got your stuff together. We in trouble. Yeah. That's when you know what I'm saying. So What's up a wig buy for Kiki. Nah, I get it. I get it though. Yeah, it like, I, I need, want... that makes sense. I need plays. I need a woman that got like that. I don't know. I I, I, I what I found intelligence is probably my that's that's way smarter than me. I enjoy women that are way smarter than me because I learned from they teaching me stuff. It's been I've dated some women that are extremely intelligent that teach me stuff that I had no idea about. And then there's the then then it, but there's the plays part too that no business or no other ways that they could talk to you about your business. They could talk to you about other business and y'all figure out plays to get. I don't know that part of it. So when you say like a woman is for you to stay home and do. And could turn it off. I kind of don't want my woman to turn it you off. You want a partner. I want, yeah, I want, I want, let's, let's, get, let's go get as much money as we can <laughs> together. Like, so I'm going to be like, let's set a goal and see who reach it first. I want you to hustle just as hard as me. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> let's go get this like we gonna, money. We ain't yeah. going, we ain't going to see each other. No, you know. No, we're going, you are going to see, you are going, you are going to see each other. You just have to, it's more thought out and it's more, and it's actually, in my opinion, because I've, I've been in some some situations like that, relationships like that, where it's more thought out. It's more like, all right, it's planned out. We got to do this. But it's still, I enjoy watching, I enjoy watching my girl go get bread. I enjoy that. Like a hustling ass chick. Like, yo, I enjoy her to see her. Achieve. I'm going to cheat. I'm like, I, I, my life is a video game, bro. Uh-huh. I love getting to the next level. And once I get to that next level, 
I'm on the next one. Y'all be with me all the time. We, what do I do? I talk about we didn't hit this level. All right, that's cool. What's yep. the next one? Yep. We hit I, this. I love cool? that. I, What's but the next I want to think like that. I want her to have, do her thing, but I also want to be taken care of. Yes. That's what he wants. We, like. we can, we can. Tom we, wants to get flown out. He, he would like to get, get flown out, like no, like Young Miami. To get, no, like, I don't want to. Get, I don't want to get flown out. <laughs> Tom want to. Tom want to, his girl to send a jet to him. Right. And he, that's what's going. No, Tom no. goes. I'm in love. I'm in love. She got a jet. I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. That's what Tom. <laughs> Zach, on the other hand, you want a not broke housewife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want. I don't you, want you to be broke. Right. I want you to be able to take care of something. Yeah. But I also want you to rub my back. See. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what I want. I I'm need not that. No I backs. need that. I don't like, have a jet. I want to be. You got your person. You was a quiet, strong, strong shooter, and yes. you got one. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's literally what I. <laughs> that is what I pray for. Lord, send me a shooter. <laughs> Lord, send me a shooter. It's crazy. Yeah, All right, man. Me. Final thoughts, man. We had time. Oh man. Oh, final thoughts, man. I just want to say shout out to Cisco. Um, what? Yeah, it hit my. I thought about this over the weekend, and it's been on my heart heavy. We did not appreciate Cisco the way we should have appreciated him in his prime. And I saw him moonwalking at like a picnic or something over the weekend <laughs> on, on Instagram, and it just really it did something to me. I don't like it. So I just feel like everybody need to go stream some Cisco this weekend or this week. And uh, we need to get him. You know Cisco good out here. He's great. Drew Hill be performing everywhere. Right, but he's Cisco, and we did not appreciate before. See, I don't want to. I don't rough no feathers. But before there was Chris Brown, there was Cisco. Fight me if you want to. Do your research. Before there was Chris Brown, there was Cisco, and we did not. I don't know why you had to bring Chris Brown. As much as you think it's disrespectful to to compare people, you I know you did not bring Chris Brown. In. It's Go not ahead. a comparison. I'm just telling you, Cisco backflipped so Chris Brown could do what he doing. Mm -hmm. So he could do that karate kick. Thank into you. The and the twist. Mm -hmm. I, children that may see this, I would like y'all to go on YouTube and research Cisco. We did not appreciate that man like we should have. Well, I'm going to tell you the and problem. What? Cisco's problem. What was his problem? We have, we, we have love and appreciation for Cisco and Drew Hill. We do. Stop talking about Drew Hill. I'm talking about Cisco. Well, Cisco, but they, I can't talk Cis about, the reason I can't talk about just Cisco is because the last five times I've seen, you know I know about a Drew yes, Hill. Yes, you do. The, the last <laughs> five times. Yes, you time, do. The Yikes. last five times I have seen Cisco perform, he has performed with four new niggas. Right. And I'm sick of that. You know what I'm saying? Either be bring the same people back. We don't know these other three <laughs> that you're singing with, Cisco. Stop. And that, my thing is, that he don't bothers need them. Me. He don't need them. That's what's. But I feel like we have not valued him enough that people feel comfortable putting featuring Cisco on the ticket. So they put Drew Hill because they feel like that's the bigger brand when Cisco <laughs> is the brand and he is the Beyonce and he should have been bigger than what we let him be. And I feel like he we need to redo it. He need another shot. Cisco could have Drew Hill needs a. I'm looking at some of their their songs. But yeah, the they biggest, need a residency. No, the biggest hits he are from Drew one. Hill. Cisco. No, there's no bigger hit than Thong Song. Cis Thank you. There's no bigger hit. Thank no, no, no. You. I got you. I got you. But I'm talking about replay value. I'm talking about replay value. That's true. You're not going. You're not. You're not going to the club. Song. Nobody's going to pull on Thong Song. They not. You they hear should. Thong Song in passing and you like it, <laughs> but you're not be like, let me hear that Thong Song today. But you will hear. Beauty and is I crazy. never make a promise. You'll listen to that any but day that's all day. Cisco. Beauty no, is No, that's crazy. Drew Hill. That's Cisco. No, that's no, Jazz. Bro. Don't don't. You cannot sit up here. Jazz led, sang lead on that song. Bruh, I love you, Jazz. I respect you, Cisco. Cisco's Deserves voice was the was the ah. Uh, you just you said hear. you don't know Cisco. the other three the, uh, dudes, bro. No, I'm saying I don't know. The, no, I know I know Jazz, I know Cisco, and I know uh, Nico. Okay, there was one that could backflip, stay on key, gotcha. and had silver hair in the nineties. But in, so That's what records Cisco. did Cisco have by himself? He had incomplete. Thong? And he had, he thong, had thong, song. thong song. I don't even have to listen to any other songs that he got. He had thong song. There is no, there is nothing else to talk about. Okay, go, 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 See how many tickets you get to the thong song. <laughs> Incomplete was the better record if you want to be real. No, 
Thong Song was the bigger record. Bigger. I, was, I just feel That's like. That's because white folks got a hold of Thong Song <laughs> and couldn't take it. That's all it was. <laughs> That's a fact. But I just want us to respect. I, I think I'm going to do It's the same verse. Do this every four episode. times. Every you listen to Thong Song, it's the same verse. It don't matter. Four times in a row. It don't matter. It dumps like a truck. It's a, it's a huge record. <laughs> Don't Let matter. me see. But then it went back and then he said, "Like who could sing about a thong and like that? Like what? Y'all don't. We don't. I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this every episode. I'm gonna bring up somebody that needs their flowers. And today it is Cisco. Okay. And okay. I'm not today's, playing. Okay, there it is. So today's Black Let's History go, moment. Let's brought go, to you by Thank King. you, Cisco. I love you, baby. And I'm right for you. <laughs> Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Zach, you got a final thought? It's no, not as I, long as Kiki. I do not. I, I do not have some dying love to an old school two thousand R and B artist like Kiki. And I don't know what she goes through on the weekends, but it seems like when we have longer weekends, especially with a holiday or something, she comes back with some randomness. Okay. So what we need to do is keep the weekend short. <laughs> Because three day weekend, she don't went down Cisco rabbit hole on Monday because she don't know what to do with her time. All right. <laughs> I just want to show y'all my y'all both feet. sleepy. We, we have time for an hour. This is one of the longest episodes we've had in weeks. <laughs> we oh, love y'all. God. I'm out. Shout out to let me get one. Yeah, come Lloyd. On. Yes. <laughs> Shout yes. Shout, Shout out to Lloyd. Lloyd. You fan of the one music fest? Now nah, Lloyd is dope. Oh, it is dope. Yeah. Oh man, y'all crazy. I'm, bye. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, guys. Remember, keep watching TRL. Thank you so much for TRL. showing up, popping. Now you T-R- sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I am. TSR. TRL been canceled for like five years. I actually auditioned for TRL. When you oh, supposed to be God. the host of TRL? Yeah, I, no, I ended up uh, getting sucker free Sundays for for a month. You me did and that? Yeah, me and Shaq did sucker free Sundays. Yeah. I I think we should do this every episode too. Bring. One history about or fact about Tone's career that we did not know. I uh, did not know that. Yeah, I, I, we actually got it. We was in like a contract, and then they just kind of like it's all just like, hey, let's just have you do because the amount of money that MTV was going to pay, for, it wasn't at that. It wasn't that. You know, oh, was, okay. you more like I'm on MTV. Yeah. But it, 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 it and, and TRL was about to end pretty much, but they was looking for some hosts. Mm. Uh, but we did, we did that. We okay. did that sucker free Sundays for a month. Wow, sleeping on MTV. Yeah, yep. I have, I got a story about the Boondocks. I got a story about the game. What? I, I got a story about E Entertainment News. I got some stories. Okay. Some stories. Well, we'll unlock one every week. Yeah, yeah we'll unlock week. them. We'll unlock mm-hmm. one. Uh, uh, you and Cisco. Shout out to Nelly. <laughs> All right, cool. See? Why are you shouting? <laughs> hey, hey thank you. Watch Pro. TSR. Don't forget, watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, Five thirty Pacific. 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central right here in Chicago. With that being said, what more can we say?